Do you want your stream elements boss to say hello back to everybody who's saying hello in chat? We can make that happen. My name is Tree and I make streaming support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before I begin, as remember Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European time on twitch.tv slash Tree. First of all, we're gonna go to streamelements.com and log in with our Twitch. Then on the left here, we go to chat commands. We go to custom commands. We click on add new command. And here we give it a name. It doesn't really matter, but let's just call it, call it hello for now. The response is gonna be, hello there. Welcome in. One of my emotes is this really cute heart tree love. So I'm gonna copy this one and I'm gonna go here and I paste this one. If you wanna do this though, your bot needs to be a subscriber, so not everybody can do this, but you can do this with standard Twitch emote, for example, the hello one. So if we go here and we go to like the standard emotes that everybody has, so here you got the global ones, we can basically use any of these uh, on the ball if you don't have it as a sub. Fihayo here. Um, and then we can use this instead. Let's, let's use this because then everybody knows. You need to make sure that the capitalization is correct because otherwise it doesn't work. And then what we want to do is go to advanced settings. Now, this is what does the trick. Command cost zero. Just, just keep this on say, keep this in both. It doesn't really matter. Use a cooldown. That's all right if you set it on 15 minutes. But I would even make it longer than 15. I would probably make it 60 minutes and go will cool down one minute. This way, every one minute it can trigger, but it can only trigger once an hour per person, which you want because you don't want to say hi every two seconds to one person that's saying hi to a lot of different people in the chat. Now we have command aliases. We keep this empty, we don't have to fill anything in, but then we have command keywords here. Keywords are an alternate way to trigger a command. They can be anywhere in a message and do not need an exclamation mark. Press enter to submit. Okay, so this is what we want. We want to type hello here and enter. Hey, enter. Hi, enter. Yo, enter. Um, howdy, enter. Hey yo, enter. We want to add as many of these hey versions as we can, as we know. And now the bot will all react of these. And if you go back to settings, we can say that it will say hello there, welcome in. If you say any of these keywords that I literally just wiped by going to settings. This favor for you all, make sure to save it before switching back to normal settings. <laughs> Hello, hey, hey yo, how do you? Let's activate the command. What we want to do now is go to our Twitch chat and tape, hey yo. Now, Tripal, which is my moderator, that's actually my stream elements ball, Undercover. It looks like it isn't. It's because I made it a custom bot name. If you want to find out how to do that, watch this video. But it says, hello there, welcome in. And if we say howdy, it should also say, hello there, welcome in. Hey, this is all. It should not say it right now because, you know, we set a cooldown on it. Okay, 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 okay. I know what's happening now, guys. So the cooldown that we set here, I'm going to go back and set it to 60. The cooldown that we set per person it's only for every variable of it. So, hello, hey, uh, hey, yo, howdy. They all trigger separately and not at the same cooldown. So somebody can say hello, hey, and hey, yo, and then it will trigger for all three. But if a person says hello to three different people, it will only trigger once. So keep that in mind. That's the downside of a command like this. If it isn't working, what you can do is type slash mod stream elements in chat, and then you make it a moderator, and that's a good thing to do do it. <laughs> if you have a custom bot, make sure to do that with your custom bot, of course. And now we're actually gonna go in to this playlist all about stream elements where you can learn so much more about stream elements, how to set up certain commands, but also how to set up alerts and everything. Cool things. So I will see you there.